front porch sipping on the rocks Citrus in our beverages Citrus in our beverages Show only the good sides Always pretty smiles are covering our faces You know it is all lies You know it is all lies On and on and on it goes Round and round the rodeo Breathing out air for a minute Taking my time to begin with On and on and on it goes Swing it down in life, you know Breathing out there for a minute Yeah Hey, would you rather say Welcome back to Farmhouse on 3rd. In today's video, we are going to be taking you along with us for a typical homeschool day. We're starting off by making some waffles for breakfast. I'm using our mini dash waffle maker. And I'm also using our egg bites maker to make some egg bites. This was the first time that I used it. And the directions said to cook them for like six to seven minutes until the water evaporates. But they almost cooked too long and they deflated. So when I made the second batch, I put them in for like half the time and they came out perfect. So if you have one of these, cook them a little less and they'll still be done. After we're done eating, I'm going to clean up the kitchen a little bit and then I will come back and talk with you about what we're going to be doing for our homeschool day. And then I will share our dinner recipe. Tonight we are having meatloaf. Make everything disappear You can play my favorite song Put your rose colored glasses on What if we stay right here? Make everything disappear Lay low in the bitchy sun Put your rose colored glasses on I really 
thought we had it covered Was gonna patch up all the scars But we smashed up all the parts Oh, na, na, na Always knew that you were stubborn But didn't know it'd be so hard To figure out who you really are Welcome back to Farmhouse on 3rd. In today's video, we are going to be taking you along with us for a day in the life. Um, we're gonna be sharing what we do for our homeschool day. Um, we already had breakfast and I did some dishes. So now I'm going to get ready what we are going to be doing today. Um, the kids are playing downstairs in the toy room um, and then I will call them up and then we will get started. Um, everything that we are using is in the Timber Doodle Complete Curriculum Kit. I will have that link below in the description box. Today I am just going to be starting on getting um, our math put together. So every week I take out like the um, week's worth of worksheets that she has to get done. And the last couple weeks I haven't stapled them together so I'm just going to get that done quick. So Briley's done a few worksheets for the math out of this week's lesson already. She'll do a few more and then tomorrow she will finish and then she will take the test for the week. And then I am also going to have her go through her multiplication factors today. Um, so this is like a really um, nice tool. Here is like what it shows. So you have to like, um, so like four times one is four, then you go to the next one, two times one is two. And then you go all the way around and then on the back, your um, lines will match if they are done correctly. So that's a nice one. A nice learning tool for her to help her remember her multiplication facts. So she'll do those for math. And then usually we play this game. You can play it online for free, um, but sometimes we like to play it against each other this way, or we will race to see who can find all six matchers online first. Um, so this is what we'll start the day with. Okay, and then we are going to do her um, second, or her first page of the spelling where I read her um, what the story is, and she has to copy it from memory. So we'll do that, and then she has to underline the vowel chunks on this side. So we'll do that today. Um, then she will do a few more pages of her cursive lesson. And then I'm going to have her read some of this um, Slimy Space Slugs book. And then we are also going to read one of these stories in the Disasters in History. We're going to do two pages out of this one. Um, this is like, there's one page for each day. We haven't done any at the beginning of the week, so we'll just do two today and then finish it out tomorrow. We are going to do a couple pages out of geography. Let's see here. We are on volcanoes, I believe. Oh, we just finished up volcanoes, so now we're going to be moving on to, um, oh no, it is still volcanoes. So we're gonna finish up the volcano lesson. Do a couple pages. There's a couple activities. And then we'll be done with that one today. We're gonna do a couple pages out of this Dr. Bonafide book. This is a fun science book. It teaches you like bones in the body, but each book kind of um, focalizes on a specific part of the body. So this book is mainly about like the hand. Um, so it's the bones of the hand, arm, and shoulder. And so it's a lot of like repetition work out of um, labeling like what each bone in each hand is. So we finished up all the bones in like the fingers and then the wrist. And I believe we are moving on to the shoulder and the arm bones now. So we'll do a couple of those pages. 
this is just my reading book that I read to her um, for her spelling lesson and then we will do a couple more pages of our language smarts book we've already done science for the week and we have already done the literature book um, literature is Riley's favorite so usually she does that lesson first thing like the first lesson that we do for the whole week um, that's her favorite she would do it every day if we could um, but um, we are also going to be doing critical and creative thinking Riley really likes this book um, we usually do like a section kind of every day um, so today we're gonna be doing about pizza and then this one has time on it and depending on how much we get through and how much time we have left I'm going to be having her do a couple of these test prep lessons she's going to be taking her standardized test soon um, for the state of Minnesota she has to take a standardized test just to see how she does with like um, all the other students um, just to make sure that she's learning what she needs to be learning so this is a great booklet to help her like kind of remember how she has to fill in the blanks fill in like all the circles kind of how the lesson or the standardized test that we do how that format is so we are going to be doing a little bit out of this like kind of every day until she does take her test so we are going to be getting um, started I will call the girls up here and we'll see how today goes usually we try to get through a lot and sometimes we get through everything and sometimes you don't it just depends on the day um, Ashby our one and a half year old is very busy and so she likes to color sometimes when we do school until she doesn't like to color and then she wants to be running and playing and getting into everything so um, we will see what we can get done and um, we'll take you along with us. I guess our dreams fell asleep. There's no passion in the comatose. Baby going down, down, down. Baby going down, 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 down. Tried so hard to stay afloat. We keep moving like the river goes. Baby going down, down, down. Baby going down, 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 down. And I thought it's time. can be cut from each pizza so when it's like this one how many could they get for that two no how many equal slices if each shape or if each pizza piece look like this how many could they get three here so four four right because it would come like this and like that right so how many pieces is that here you go Ashby. I just saw it but four How many pieces could they get from that one? Six. Are you sure? Yeah. Look at how big they are though. Kind of draw a piece that would be the same size as those. If you made this one like they all little like so one one two three four five six seven I believe on that one. How 
Help Lucy make sure that she has enough pizza for her party. She invited 15 people. She ordered three pizzas. Each pizza has 12 slices. Each person, including Lucy, gets two slices. Number of slices needed. How many slices would they need? Three. So it says, help Lucy make sure that she has enough pizza for her party. She invited 15 people, right? 15 times two. But she invited 15. How many is there including her? 16. 16. And each person needs two slices. So two how times many? 16? Yeah. So it would be 16 plus 16. <laughs> 30, 32. 32. Yep. Um, number of slices in all three pizzas. So if each pizza has 12 slices, how would you figure out how many there are? Actually, here, sit on my phone. Here. Okay, so if there's three pizzas and each pizza has 12 slices, how many is that? 12 slices. 12 in each pizza. But there's three pizzas. How many pizzas slices are there total? 12 times three. Yep. internationally known explorers we have had as members. So you drew those, uh -huh. now we're on this. Uh -huh. Read up here. What does it say? And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Uh -huh. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. We've also had some members that weren't even human. Okay, so what does it say? Here are a few of our over or at, of our non-human members. Jeremy the Unicorn. Yes, of course, they're real. The Lonious Lonevis Lonious Monkey. So you're draw monkey in there. This one says Sally the Narwhal, the Unicorn of the Sea. What is this one? The Sir Alexander Stinglanglo. 
the tiny ladybug explorer. I'm a man. If 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 you thought only humans can be adventurers, ow! You probably forgot your guide is a talking duck. Okay, Ashby, no, no, this is not your book. Keep it on the log. I don't know how, but it feels like I'm drunk on you. It's almost like you make me fly. And when I look at you smile, I don't know how, but it feels like I'm drunk on you. It feels like I'm drunk on you. It feels like I'm drunk on you. Oh! Ashby. Are you coloring? What are you coloring? Bro, it's $200 for a pair of pajamas. And it's $200 for a blanket from there. Yeah, I know. should calm down and that I'm overthinking everything about you and that we're good the way we are mm -hmm. but I don't know that much about you what things you like and what you don't it's not shoulder bones. Each arm has three bones, the ulna, you see the ulna right here, mm -hmm. ulna, mm -hmm. radius, and humerus. Where's the humerus? Oh, this is the humerus. So, ulna, radius, and the humerus. The shoulder has two bones, the scapula and the clavicle. So, see, the scapula and clavicle. Okay, you read those pages. The friend who grew up with you deserve a special respect. Respect. The ones who stuck by you from shoulder to shoulder. Okay, it says, well, these are some long bones. Funny fact. The funny bone is not actually a bone, but the ulna, ulna nerve. Funny. Okay, you read. The ulna is and radius are in the forearm forearm which runs from your wrist to your elbow the humerus is in your upper arm which runs from your elbow to your shoulder they are called long bones because they are long they are longer than than they are wide phalanges and metacarpals are also long bones Ulna and radius. Find the bump in your wrist. It's on the same side as your pinky. So, do you feel like right here? Do you feel the bump in your wrist? The bump right here. It's on the same side as your pinky. That's the ulna. The ulna starts at that bump and goes all the way to your elbow. The radius at your the radius is next to your ulna. It goes from your wrist to your elbow. Two. Fill your ulna and radius bones with your fingers. Follow them up your elbow. Can you feel like, the bones in your arm? Yeah. When you go all the way up. Okay. Dr. B is here. Or, Dr. B, is there anything humorous about the humorous bone? Humorous. Read that. The bone of the upper arm is the humorous. It's the bone that starts at the elbow and fits right into the shoulder. Bend your elbow, your ulna, radius, and humorous. me in the elbow joint the 
The point of your elbow is at the end of the ulna, ulna bone. You may know it as the funny bone. Activity. Ulna, radius, and humerus. Write ulna, radius, and humerus three times on each line. So ulna, radius, and humerus, right? On the lines. Are you looking? Are you looking with your 3D glasses? Me look? <laughs> should work it out you know we should work it out before i'm too invested i should probably ask you ask you all my questions get to know you better why can you be trusted will you take me for granted and will you knock me down i know i'm feeling something Okay, so to see the ulna radius and humerus, you don't need glasses. Just put on your Dr. Bonafide x-ray glasses. What is that? What, I don't know, I can't see it. You can. You can see like the little imprint. The little. What's that? That's your um, clavicle and your shoulder bone. So like these bones right here. Like, this is your clavicle, or this is your shoulder bone, and then this is clavicle. Okay? Mm -hmm. Does it say anything? Who was the most famous skeleton detective? Where is it? Right there. Um, Sherlock Bones? Yep. Okay, let's do this one, and then we'll be done with this one actual x-ray image bones of the arm are among the most commonly broken bones which bone is broken so which bone is this like uh this, this. so if we look back the humerus it's the humerus it's the humerus the humerus yes no this is the humerus Ulna. So it says right here. So this one's connected to the bump. So right here. Find the bump in your wrist. It's the same side as your pinky. That's the ulna. Mm -hmm. So the side that has the bump is the ulna. See the blue one? Yeah. That's the ulna. Right, oh no. George Washington. Study plants. Riley is going to work on her math worksheets in her room. Um, she's going to do um, three different worksheets. Um, it's multiplication. And then she will do some more of her cursive um, writing.
Before I'm too invested I should probably ask ya Ask you all my questions Get to know you better Why can you be trusted? Will you take me for granted? And will you let me down? Before I'm too invested While Briley is working on her math and her cursive in her bedroom, I am going to be starting supper Tonight we are having meatloaf. Um, to make this, I usually use like two pounds of ground beef. This one is the ground sirloin from Target. Um, it's actually really good meat if you haven't tried it before. It's kind of expensive, but it makes really good burgers as well. And to that, I'm adding an egg and some oatmeal, some milk, and then onion powder and some black garlic. Um, I usually don't measure. I just kind of dump it meatloaf. I don't know if you can go wrong by adding too much or too little. I am also going to be adding some Kinder's The Blend seasoning. I think it's pepper, salt, and garlic. And then once I added all of those in, I'm going to be mixing it together with my hands. So I wash my hands just to make sure that they're clean. And then I'm going to mix it up and put it in the loaf pan. And then for the topping, I usually don't measure. I just put um, ketchup, mustard, and brown sugar. And then I actually covered it this time and baked it for about an hour on um, 350 and then for the sides I will be making mashed potatoes um, I'm making corn and for the corn I add a little bit of sugar salt pepper and some butter and it's really good corn and then I also made some biscuits and some green beans and then for the girls I just made them a container of Easy Mac and um, put that on their plates and then we ate and that was the end of our night um, if you have any questions, leave them below. We will see you in the next video. I've been trying my best for a while Trying to please everyone who's around me I've been putting on my fake smile Even though I'm wasting time I don't want to be trapped in a box Trying to be like the rest when I'm not I just want to go my own way Gonna let the past burn down Cause honestly don't wanna be Stuck in boring conversations with you With you I'm gonna leave it all behind Find myself, I'm gonna start with new Yeah I'm on my way now I don't wanna be trapped in a box